Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us on this special festival day known as Christ the King Sunday. Today's gospel reading is about Jesus being crucified at the cross and is the last story we hear before we enter into the Advent season and the story of Christ's birth. So what does this reading have to do with us calling it Christ the King Sunday? Well, you see, it all started at Jesus' birth. People in the Bible times really wanted a new king, and they hoped Jesus would be their new king, a normal, traditional king that wears a golden crown and purple robes, that lives in a palace and leads people. Well, Jesus was a king, but he was just a different kind of king. From the very day he was born, you could tell that this king was different. Most kings are usually born in a palace, but this king was born in a stable surrounded by donkeys, sheep, and cows, and it wasn't a very fancy beginning for a king. As the baby king grew into a man, he continued to be different from the other kings. While most kings spent all of their time building up riches of gold and jewels, this king owned nothing at all. And while most kings surrounded themselves with servants, he chose to be a servant. He could often be found helping others, and the people he chose to be his friends were a bunch of smelly fishermen. And he could often be seen visiting them and visiting with the poor and eating with sinners. <clears throat> Finally, the people decided that they had put up with this king long enough. If he couldn't act the way they thought a king should act, then they didn't want him to be a king anymore. They made a plan to have him arrested and thrown into prison, and their plan worked. When the day came for his trial, the different kings stood in front of the people, and instead of them shouting, Hail to the king! Long live the king! They shouted, he is not our king, crucify him. So the soldiers did. And this is where our gospel reading today picks up. They nailed him to a cross and hung him near two other criminals. They put a, a crown made of thorns on his head. They poked him with sharp sticks and made fun of him. One of the two criminals believed Jesus to be a different king and said, remember me, Jesus, when you come into your kingdom. And instead of ignoring the criminal, Jesus assured him that he would be with him in paradise. After he was crucified, they put his body in a borrowed tomb. But we know this isn't the end of the story. Remember, this king was different. This king rose from the grave to live forever. The reading today reminds us that instead of being a king over a country, Jesus is the spiritual king over the entire universe for all time and eternity. He is the king to anyone who chooses him to be their king. His different way of being a king reminds us that we too can be kingly on earth if we follow the teaching of Christ and love our neighbors instead of loving our royal treasures or palaces. Will you pray with me, please? Mighty King of eternal love, we thank you for your teachings of how to be different than what is expected. Thank you for showing us and teaching us the way to share your love and compassion with others and for being the example of true nobility and royalty. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you.